Welcome to Return to Athens, as the IOC looks to the future and we look at a sport that grows with leaps and bounds. First up, the IOC program commission had recommended that three sports be cut from the Beijing Olympics in 2008. The report cited lack of global popularity, high venue costs and, in the case of baseball, the absence of top major league players. But the sports, baseball, softball and the modern pentathlon, waged a successful lobbying campaign. Many IOC members said they'd not been given sufficient input or time to make a decision. The two-year postponement was a defeat for International Olympic Committee President Jacques Rogg, who had commissioned the proposed changes. The, se the session decided that there would be now a periodic review with possible elimination of sports every four years after the Games. I think this is really a, 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 a fundamental change in the policy of the IOC because we are going to review all the programme after each Games, but in depth. But the sports federations have expressed mixed feelings over the postponement. They have a stay of execution, but are now left in limbo for two years. Then the session felt that uh, as the uh, three federations that faced exclusion had made proposals, it was about fair to let them prove that the proposals would work and the decision on the possible exclusion has been postponed until after the 2004 Games. But the federations have also had to compromise to ensure their short-term reprieve. Baseball and softball agreed to work together in the same venue. Baseball promised the best American players. Uh, modern Pentathlon agrees to, to review uh, the, their events. And it is about fair that the session judged on that. Baseball has been a medal sport since 1992. Softball, a women's only event, was added in 1996. While the modern pentathlon, a five-sport discipline created by modern Olympics founder Pierre de Coubertin, was introduced in 1912. To our Olympic fact, some other Olympic sports that have fallen by the wayside include motorboating, polo, cricket, croquet, golf and, believe it or not, tug-of-war, last held in 1920. We now look at a sport that's gained ground since its introduction as a demonstration sport at the 92 Games in Barcelona. In the shadow of Sugarloaf Mountain on Ikarai Beach, we've caught up with some of the world's best in an ideal setting that seems pure beach volleyball. Beach volleyball quickly became a huge sport in this part of the world, thanks to the likes of Layla Gomes Barros. The 31-year-old's career started in 1992. In the Atlanta Games, she was considered the best scorer in the world. Later, a bronze medalist at the Sydney Olympics, in the same year she was voted Athlete of the Year in Brazil. Now ranked seventh in the world by the International Federation of Volleyball, Layla sees scope for improvement within the sport, with momentum seemingly having been lost. Brazilian beach volleyball started to gain a global reach thanks to the success of athletes like Layla and world champions Adriana Bajá and shoulder Bruno Bede. But back home, the sport hasn't grown at the desired rate, hence a little tinkering with the rules. After all, it's not a mature Olympic sport. And hey presto, it's now a four-player game too. Though not an Olympic event as yet, the sport is looking to the future. Luis Alexander Rodriguez was part of the Brazilian national team, so he knows getting in the crowds is vital for the profile and possibly the ultimate survival of the sport. Yeah, it's very important. It's a new uh, kind of a game, so 4x4 four four is very interesting. A lot of rallies, so everybody uh, would be very interested. It's our second year, so a lot of people coming, a big crowd, and it's very, very good. Watch out for more Olympic news as we return to Athens.